Hey guys, this is Jake, and today we're going to be checking out the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 7-inch Wi-Fi 8GB edition. Now, this is the latest flagship tablet device that Samsung is actually sporting right now. This is their Galaxy Tab line, and this is the fourth generation. Now, if you guys have seen my previous videos, I do have the Tab 2, and this is a major step up from the Tab 2, spec-wise, screen-wise, pretty much everything uh, from that edition. Now, running through this, this is the 7-inch tablet. I did pick this up at uh, GameStop for $1.99 so you guys can go ahead and check out that. I will leave their listing down below. We can go over to the back here and run it down the specs. So this is a 7 inch um, tablet with a 1280 by 800 screen sporting a WXGA LCD screen. Um, it produces you know sharp videos but not HD quality not just yet but that is um, not as noticeable I believe if you are uh, you know doing other things other than uh, watching or streaming on the camera side we do have a 3 megapixel camera and a 1.3 megapixel camera for uh, skyping and, and other uh, things that you can do with the front facing camera so here we have the 4000 milliamp battery. Now this is a fairly large battery. Um, it is allowing you guys to have, I believe, up to 10 hours of internet use uh, running on a single charge, which is fantastic uh, for road trips uh, when I'm tethering and so forth. This is a perfect device to go ahead and stream Netflix, YouTube, and my social media sites. Now going over the major specs of this, this is a uh, 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. Comparing that to the Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, 2, this one is a step up or two quads uh, step up from the actual Tab 2. And going to the Samsung Galaxy uh, S5, the S5 is sporting a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core processor. So it's definitely a mid-range processor, especially with the other processors that are out now, sporting a 2 or a 1.8 gigahertz um, processor. But it's definitely able to keep up, which comes down to the other part. Um, this is a multi-view and a multi-user um, product. So they have definitely stepped it up with their TouchWiz and the uh, Android OS on top of um, the TouchWiz. Some other things we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and check out. I believe you guys are dying to see what's on the inside, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, as I said, this is just a first impressions video. If you guys would like a full-on review, let me know down in the comments. I would like to, to um, know. So let's go ahead and cut this open. There we are. Opening it up here, let's go see what's on the inside. So as you guys can see, here is the seven inch uh, tablet. It looks fantastic. It kind of looks like a Note 3, but on a larger scale. I like that. I enjoyed using the Note 3, and this is definitely uh, bringing back some memories of the Note 3. So here we have it. It looks great. Same plastic backing that you would get with their actual products, and I believe it. it's that uh, leather styled uh, plastic that they do have going on with the other products such as the Note 3 and the S4. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side and get to that in just a bit. On the inside what we do have is our regular cords that come with the um, Galaxy Tab 4 and you will get your power adapter uh, US edition. Now it will change depending on the country that you are in but this is what you would get. You guys can just insert that through there. Putting it off to the side here, let's go ahead. We do have a user manual and some other literature that you guys can go ahead and read on your own if you guys so choose. But that does come included for you people that like to get the uh, directions down and straight. So let's go ahead and put the other things away. No headphones that came included with this. And my first impressions on it, it feels great. Now this is a 9.76 ounce um, uh, tablet so it's definitely in that competition with the iPad mini retina um, the iPad mini retina is coming in at I believe 11 ounces so it's a bit hefty but this product um, is definitely a competitor to the iPad mini just because of the size the quality the features actually it kind of 
resembles it. But one major selling point that Apple will not have is the uh, expandable memory on the sides here. Now let me go ahead and take off the plastic. There you go. And we can actually go ahead and take that off a bit later. But on the back here, you do have your camera. Uh, that is the 3 megapixel camera, as I said. You do have your speakers down at the bottom. You will have your input for your uh, micro USB right down below. You do have, I believe, is that an IR blaster? I'm not sure. You do have the expandable memory slot right over there. Fantastic. Great. Um, you do have your power buttons and your up and down button over here. You will have your headphone jack right up the top. Fantastic. Um, I didn't like the uh, time that it was at the bottom. So yeah, that is the uh, tablet itself. Some other things I can go ahead and talk about during this first impression. Um, just by the way it looks, by the way it feels, I can actually grip it pretty nicely. Now it's a bit slippery, but that is... Um, you know, the way they build their new tablets. So let's go ahead and take off the actual sticker of the front here. Hope you guys can hear it. There you go. Sticker is now off, and this is sporting that fantastic 7 inch 1280 by 800 WXGA LCD screen. Um, and I'm going to have fun with this, guys. So, guys, that is pretty much it. You guys have seen what's included. Um, this is rocking its 4.4 KitKat OS, so it's pretty much the latest OS from uh, Android, and you will have the latest edition of TouchWiz, so you will get the S-Beam, you will get the multi-view, the multi-user, which is going to be used up pretty nicely with that 1.2 GHz processor and that 1.5 GB of RAM. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys would like to see an official review and um, further impressions on everything about it from the way I use it on a daily basis to the way the battery works, how that would work. And let me know down in the comments whether you'd, um, you know, you'd want to go out and get one of these. I mean, I got one myself personally. I, you know, been on the market for a tablet for a while and this is definitely one for me, even though I am rocking this you guys can see i am rocking my iphone and i am now rocking a new tablet which is fantastic so guys that is it for me i hope you enjoyed this little first impressions and unboxing of the samsung galaxy tab 4 the 7 inch model this model comes in at 199 and the prices will vary and will go up from here so guys that is it for me i hope you enjoyed and let me know down in the comments what you think like the video and subscribe for more videos on the latest tech videos. So guys, this has been Jake and I'll be catching you in the next video.